back uh, to another video. Um, off the bat, I just want to say this, this isn't like an average um, video. Um, hold up. Okay. This. Uh, this is a uh, super cheap. Uh, this is the Booga mouse. Okay. We're, 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 we're talking five below. Um, LED gaming mouse? That's strange. Uh, any, anyways, I'm going to show you how to take this thing apart. Uh, if you want to paint it, you, you can. Um, I know this isn't a very competitive mouse. It's more of like a kind of a secondary backup mouse, if I would say. Uh, so disassembling this thing, uh, you're, you're simply just going to need one tool, which is going to be a Phillips screwdriver. You don't need a prying tool, nothing like that, nothing crazy. We're, we're, not, we're, not, we're not taking apart like consoles. We're taking apart a mouse here. Okay, uh, first thing you want to do, uh, these are some, some huge, huge screws. Uh, you want to go ahead. There's four on this uh, stainless steel plate. So you want to take out all these four. And I've already took mine apart. Uh, so, yeah, um, you want to take this piece out, so there's, there will be four screws, and then you just re remove this stain on the steel plate, uh, it comes out, uh, fine, honestly, uh, yeah, okay, next, uh, since you don't have that plate no more, it should be just all black, um, next part is you want to start taking apart these lips here, um, these kind of want to be rubberized pieces, you want to lift these off. And then you should get this piece, uh, and then that will give you access to two screws down here. You get a screw here and a screw here, so you just kind of take off these screws once again. And I mean, these are some big screws, especially for a mouse. Like, this is like console size screws. Like, wow. This, this mouse feels like it was made in, like, 2016. I'm not dissing on it. It works just fine, but... No, I'm saying it feels like it's been 2016. Uh, anyways, uh, then you want to start taking apart these two pieces. There's two rubber lips here. Uh, and you should be able to just grab uh, those with like your fingernail or something. And they should just come out. They're not that sticky. They have a little piece of tape on the side. You can take the piece of tape off and you could, yeah, stuff. Uh, there will be a screw hole there. And there will be w one more here. So once you take this apart, once again, boom, ripped it straight off. Uh, and then there will be another screw hole. So you get a total of one, two, three, four screws on the rubberized pieces. And then four screws on the uh, stainless steel piece. Which will give you a total of eight screws. And all these screws are different sizes. Um, the smaller screws are for the stainless steel plate. And the bigger screw screws are for the plastic parts. Now this is where it gets serious. Um, this is the actual disassembly. Um, First thing you want to do is you want to get a good grip of it, and this piece will start to flap. And then you want to slowly pull this off. Then you take your motherboard, and make sure this is not plugged in. If it, this is plugged in, you'll, you're probably just going to get electrocuted. Uh, anyways, th then you want to take that off, and then you want to push, uh, hold your m motherboard in place, and you want to push this piece out here. Uh, this is your wire. Uh, this all goes to the motherboard, so the motherboard and wire is one piece. Then you ha you have your bottom plate, motherboard, wire, and then your USB. So this is all one piece here, okay? Now, sit that in somewhere safe. And this is one piece. This is the bottom. This is the entire bottom. Now, you don't have to take apart the um, plate to uh, take apart the full mouse. Because there are the, just these nubs uh, where the plate just kind of fits in. It doesn't actually go into the, the, the body or the mold itself. Uh, then you'll be left with this piece and this piece. So if you want to go ahead and paint it, uh, you can go ahead now. You can kind of just take it apart. And I mean, it, it's, it's hollow. There's nothing in here. It, it's just open. Uh, so painting, I'd say I, I might do like a... If I were to paint it, there'd be two combos. It'd be chrome or like kind of silver here, and then on the uh, on the um um white part, uh, I'll just take that at like a black, 
And then on the black part, I keep this black part black still. And then on this um, dark gray part, I, I'd probably do like something like a red or like, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what color combo you can think of, but uh, yeah. Anyways, let's take apart this piece. Uh, since we have this piece on, we got our plate. Um, Oh yeah, this piece is going to come out too. Just kind of put this to the side. That's the most aggravating part. Uh, next is this piece. Now this is also one of the most aggravating parts. Now, you want to just... Uh, you, you don't necessarily need a um, flathead screwdriver, but it's very um, recommended, uh, to be honest with you. So if you have a flathead, just go ahead and grab a flathead. I hope I have one. Oh yeah, I have, a, I have one. Okay. So once you have your flathead uh, screwdriver tip piece, you know, you should know what that looks like. Okay, then you want to just, you know, use it, I suppose. Okay, put your Phillips head aside, take your flat head, and there will be clips located all around. Oh, there will be clips. There will be one clip on, on the front here. There is one clip here. There is one clip in here. Way up in there. There's one clip in here, one clip here, one clip here, one clip here, one clip here, another clip here, and I'm pretty sure that's all your clips. Now there is a lot of clips to come to this thing. Uh, and there's also this, this piece here. Uh, to take this piece off, there's just two more clips. There's a clip here, there's a clip here. To take those clips off. And you have the folding disassembled. Uh, reassemble you, slap the, the clips on, you're good to go for the top part. Now, let's say you painted it all that, you came back to this video, um, and you came back knowing, want to know, knowing, want to know how to reassemble it. Um, holy crap. Nah, okay. This thing's the same cheap. Okay, now... What you want to do to reassemble, you want to take your motherboard and scroll wheel and wire. Uh, this is what it looks like, by the way. This is the complete motherboard with the scroll wheel. Not not plugged in, as, as usual. I don't think you want to plug this in anyway. You're probably going to get electrocuted. Uh, you can take this scroll wheel out and take off the rubber piece and also clean or customize this piece here. Uh, and paint it or whatever and this is the r rubber piece that you should clean um, If you're you know using this thing so yeah, uh, and then it just slides back on super easily Yeah Boom, it's, it's kind of like a silicone covering kind of and then boom it just slides back on super easy uh, reassemble this there is a super small hole uh, right right here uh, you take the uh, smaller part. Let's think it's spin, couldn't it? That takes pretty solid spin. Uh, then you want to put that uh, short piece into that hole on the scroll wheel. You want to angle it down like here, or you could just push it all the way down and just go in with it. And then boom, you have your scroll wheel replaced. Now, I'd give it a little shake, or I could just give it a little. Kind of blow it, blow all the dust off of it. Then, to reassemble, take your bottom piece, slap your um, wire into your uh, wire covering. This part here, you want to make sure your wire is nice and secured down there. That, that's what will happen next. See, it slides right, right in there, that T-post piece. Then you want to take your motherboard and your clear piece. And you want to reassemble that. Just slap this in here with the with the horseshoe going inside of the, the thing. Boom. Okay, boom. Super cheap though. And once you have this piece in, you will align, well, you'll take your wire, kind of wrap it around and hold it around here. And then just 
reassemble it. <laughs> uh, make sure these um, wheel b b bearing pieces are uh, whatever, whatever the heck they're called. Just make sure everything's nice and flat in there. Everything will uh, be situated once uh, you will real you will realize that everything is in its place. Okay. Boom. Now you can just use this. And just kind of go gaming with, with, with this if you actually w wanted to, but you have to be really, really careful. Like, that would suck. I, I would, that, that would just suck. Uh, any, anyways, re reassembling, take this piece uh, and just slap it on top. Uh, y it will fit. Just literally slap it on top. It, oh, this is the inside, by the way. Uh, just slap it on top. So, so easy. It's probably the easiest part. Boom. And it, it should have uh, these seams. It should have those pretty uh, pretty cleared out. Uh, now, you can just roll with this. Oh. <laughs> at, at least put one screw in the front and one screw in the back end. Uh, you can, as I was saying, you can't roll with no screws. That's not how it's going to work here. You're going to you're gonna have to put your screws back in. So putting the screws back in, um, I'd start off with like the front. I think that'd be easiest. To start off with. Oh yeah, this is where you're, you're gonna need your Phillips screwdriver head. You're gonna want to take your Phillips back, and you're gonna want to slap it in here. And take your big screws. And put your big screws back in all four corners where the rubberized lips were uh, taking that spot. Uh, so I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you. Make sure they're pretty tight. Once you have like all four in, just put your rub rubberized lips, I, I guess they're called, back. Just like this. And, and then do that to all four corners. Do the same thing on this side, and then there's two down here, and then put that lip on, and then I'll show you what to do after. So go ahead, pause the video. Okay, once you have all four of your screws in, just make sure you're, that all your four lips, I mean your three lips are on. This is the easiest, by far the easiest part. It's literally putting on your stickers. To put your three stickers back on, make sure they're nice and uh, tight in their situated spots. And that all your four, I mean, three lips are on. You want to take your stainless steel plate and you want to slap your plate back on in, in the spot. Then you want to take your small screws and then you're going to want to put them in each uh, small screw hole. So you get a screw here, screw here, screw here, and screw here. Just start screwing them in just like this. And do, do that to all four, so go ahead and pause the video. Oh yeah, but before you fully reassemble, make sure all these are clicking. Boom. Works just fine. I, I take apart literally, holy crap. There you are. Okay, I take apart literally everything, so I, I know just about how everything goes back together. I, I know about just about how everything works, actually. I could take apart literally whatever the heck I want and put it back together in less than an hour, just about. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm, what the heck? Why is this one not going in? This is the last screw. Come on, come on, this is the last screw, guys. What the heck? The last screw. Mm. Now, this is a laser. Uh, Laser bottom, which in 2021, like no one really makes laser bottoms any anymore. These are kind of um old, but if it works, it works. Okay, laser bottoms are supposedly retro now. It's crazy. Uh, so now you have your mouse. Everything clicks, and it's nice and flush and flawless, and you can't break it apart. You can't bend it. Because it's, it's plastic. You can't do, do anything to it. It's, it's fine. You can't pull the cord out. 
you, you, you can't take the lips off your scroll wheel. You can't pull these off. Well, actually, you, you can pull the, these off and you can just put them back on. I, f I forgot to show you this. You can literally just kind of like blow, blow, clean, clean. Oh, I feel so much more comfy. Instead of like this, man. This is weird. Uh, well, anyway, yes, you can take uh, these up. You can kind of slap them back in. Uh, let's see if it works now. Uh, we have our USB. We're going to just stick it into a computer and... <sighs> works. Just fine. Now, I'm not sure how you could... Uh, make the color go only uh, one one way on to only have like one color, but nonetheless it does work um, And yeah, that's pretty much it for today's uh, Video uh, if, if uh, you want more content like this for some reason I have no idea why you want more content like this uh, So uh, just comment below trust me. I'll, I'll get more videos like this somehow I, I don't even know how to get videos like this, but hey I, I could probably find a way. Uh, my TikTok, no, my Twitch, Instagram, and TikTok link will always be in the description. And yes, I do stream on Twitch now. Uh, I stream on Twitch daily. Uh, I'll, I will also be making YouTube videos just about weekly. I won't upload YouTube videos daily anymore, but I'll put them out pretty um at a pretty pretty good rate. Uh, all things considered, and TikTok, I barely upload on TikTok. Instagram, I do it sometimes, but Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok link is in the description, and um, yeah, I'm not sure what videos I'll have this week, uh, but it won't be a lot of videos this week. My first video is probably going to be about Monday or Tuesday, um, or maybe again tonight, I'm not sure, because if that stock came in, I, I could get one tonight, but anyways, peace out.